Hey everybody, welcome back to Science Again. So last time we met, we were talking about earthquakes and also tectonic plates. You remember that? The tectonic plates are the parts of the earth that are underneath the crust. And it's those big, big slabs of rock. And we were talking about how when those tectonic plates bump into each other, remember they can colliding into each other like this, sometimes they separate, and sometimes they go up and down, and even sometimes those tectonic plates will go over and underneath each other, and then that's how they form mountains, because they are pushing underneath and climbing up and pressing very tough. One thing we all should know about since we're going to school in New York City, we have some really important old rocks of our very own in our city that we can see. Have you been to Central Park before? Probably, right? So many of us have visited that. Have you ever noticed in Central Park those massive pieces of rock that are sticking out of the ground? Those are amazing, aren't they? Did you know those are actually extremely old pieces of rock? One of the special things about New York is that we have a lot of bedrock under the ground. Bedrock is a kind of rock that is very strong, and we call it that when it's close to the top of the ground or not so deep underground that we could get to. And so much of New York City has bedrock underneath. And also, that helps our buildings, because when we build buildings, if there's bedrock underneath, that helps it so then there can be a really strong underground that the buildings can connect to. So that helps us have a lot of buildings. But something that's really interesting about the bedrock that we have is that sometimes it sticks out just like we see in Central Park. And did you know that there's a special word for bedrock coming out of the ground like that? It's called outcrop. So when bedrock is outcropping, that means that it's poking out of the ground and we can see it. Usually it lives only underground, right? But what's so special about bedrock outcropping like that is we get to see a real piece of bedrock, really strong stone that's very old out in the open, and we get to climb on it and look at it and enjoy it and see it as a part of our city. Have you ever noticed, though, being on top of those outcropped pieces of rock, that there are these really interesting lines all over it that kind of go in one direction. Have you seen those before? Believe it or not, the Earth where we live has cycles and it has different temperatures that sometimes it goes through when it changes. And a long time ago, we had an ice age. And during an ice age, what happens is that so much ice can cover the land. And when a lot of ice is covering a piece of land, we call that a glacier. And glaciers are these really tall and thick pieces of ice that can cover a piece of land. So such a long time ago, thousands and thousands of years ago, we had a lot of ice glaciers that were in our area for New York. And they were frozen on top of the land and on the rocks. And when those pieces of ice, those big glaciers, when they're frozen, they have all these other rocks inside of them. And when those glaciers are starting to move, they move so slowly, like you can't even see it, it's so slow. But when they move and they have rocks on the bottom, it starts to scratch. And we call that an abrasion. And when you look at those rocks in Central Park, those special Manhattan schists, they're called, when we look at those and they see all those lines, that is history from such a long time ago when we had those glaciers all over the land when it was so cold and they scratched those interesting marks into those pieces of bedrock. Can you believe that, huh? Another interesting thing is that since a glacier is like a giant, giant ice cube, other rocks from far away could be frozen in one spot and travel with that glacier all the way to a new spot when it thaws out and turns into water. So then some of the rocks that we have in Central Park are from other places that traveled here with the glacier. And there's a really big scientific word for when that happens. It's called a glacier erratic. What does that mean? Well, that just means it's a rock that's not from that place, but that moved there because the glacier brought it there. Cool stuff, huh? Well, the next time you go to Central Park, have a look around. 
There's so many different kinds of those pieces of bedrock, those outcropped pieces of bedrock, that you can climb on and examine and touch. And they're also kind of shiny some of the time too, because when the glacier goes on top, it kind of polishes it a little bit. So have a look next time you go and see what you find. Thanks for joining me, everybody.